This bottle contains toilet water and answers. This lab testing Alberta's wastewater for drugs. Searching for the narcotics flowing through the province, determining what drugs are being used and when. With this kind of study, you can actually tell when people were partying. Yes, we can. Yeah, that's what's so interesting about the weekend effect here. So we're seeing that with MDMA, we can see on our Monday sampling, which would be a representative of the weekend, that we actually see a spike. Wow. Yeah. Well, the same technology used to study wastewater during the pandemic, critical to tracking spikes in COVID. Wastewater doesn't lie, right? Everybody uses the facilities and they contribute to the signal. This Calgary invention used to collect wastewater before it's tested, initially designed to track a virus, now on the trail of a different deadly epidemic. We can find so many interesting parameters in wastewater that can provide early detection of infectious diseases within our communities. And drugs. And drugs, yeah, drug poisoning agents that are causing a lot of these opioid overdoses. April saw the highest number of deaths due to drug poisoning in Alberta's history. More than 600 people have died in the first quarter of this year alone. Meanwhile, there's been a quadrupling in the amount of carfentanil in wastewater tested. Information experts say should be shared, a potential early warning system to help drug users stay safe. Carfentanil would be a big one because, again, when carfentanil enters the drug supply, its potency is dramatically greater um, and the potential for overdoses are significantly more. The hope is that the drug trends found here can one day leave this lab in real time, helping save lives out on the street. Aaron Collins, CBC News, Calgary.